Ken Hughes is one of the designers who have developed the new techniques for light projection. The work goes on in a house in Highgate in London. The light techniques they're using now are the result of five years' research by an architect, Mike Leonard, at work here on his new light projector. In fact, it's a piece of apparatus for designing light machines. Within its framework, one can quickly try out new ideas, new ways of controlling light. These lights are controlled by relays, part of a circuit based on the logic system of a computer. This rotating glass disc carries patterns which can be projected on a screen. Here's the effect produced by the lights. And here's the effect produced by the patterns. The basic framework of the machine can support a variety of light sources. A mass is added. Next come the patterns. This pair rotate in opposite directions and are driven from the edge by a small electric motor. Optical devices are added to change the patterns. Finally, a lens to control the focus of the image. These are some of the optical devices which will be tried out on top of the pots. In the workshop, the group are at the final stage of preparing their material. Providing the music, a group which features a range of unusual sound effects, the Pink Floyd. Quite apart from a big future in film, theatre and television, this new approach could revolutionise the way buildings look at night, with murals made of moving light. Anything from shop interiors to whole town centres could be transformed by powerful light projectors. In the future, instead of buying pictures to decorate their homes, people may well invest in a projector to provide constantly changing patterns of light.